Is emotional cheating actually cheating? Hey guys, my name is Danny and I'm your life and relationship coach. And obviously based on the subject of the video, we are talking about emotional cheating. So before I even begin, infidelity is variable, right? There are many different definitions of infidelity depending on how you view it. So it is important to understand that infidelity is subjective. What you may consider to be cheating is something that somebody else may not consider to be cheating, right? So for you, maybe emotional cheating is infidelity. For you, maybe texting somebody that you don't know and being flirtatious is cheating. For you, maybe it's just the physical act of cheating that counts as cheating, whatever the case may be. It is important that you define for yourself what you consider cheating to be. Because if you are unable to define that, then you're not exactly going to be sure how to feel about emotional cheating, right? Or physical cheating or any cheating for that matter. So is emotional cheating cheating? The next question that we have to ask ourselves is what is emotional cheating? Emotional cheating is when we build a strong, intimate connection with somebody outside of the relationship. So you develop a bond with somebody and there is a element, there is a dynamic that's involved that is a little flirtatious, that has sexual tension, that has a deeper emotional bond than just a generic friendship. Right now, the difference between a platonic relationship and a romantic relationship is that in a platonic relationship, there is no real sexual chemistry. There's no sexual energy. It is purely two individuals who get along, who have similar personality types, or maybe not similar personality types, but it's a dynamic that just works. Um, you feel like you can trust this individual. You laugh with this individual. You experience new things with this individual, but there is no desire or need or want to try to develop a relationship beyond that. A romantic relationship is when there is sexual tension, when there is that chemistry that's there, that want or that need to explore more of the relationship to see if there is more there than just a friendship. So if you are developing, if you are, are investing your time and energy into seeing if there is more with this individual, the person who is not your partner or your spouse, that would technically be considered emotional cheating. But as I said before, it is very important for you to define for yourself what infidelity means to you. Because once you have a definition of what infidelity means, then you can really understand what emotional cheating means to you. The third part of this is another question right? Why does it feel like a betrayal? Why does it feel like infidelity? And a big piece to this puzzle is the conscious and active decision from either yourself or your partner to withhold the truth. That's, that act in and of itself causes there to be a break of trust. And when there is a break of trust, there is a feeling of loss of connection, right? The, the emotional connection starts to kind of dissipate, which actually only further perpetuates the feeling of betrayal. And like I said, if you don't have a solid understanding of what you feel infidelity is, right? What you view infidelity to be, this can be very confusing and you can take this act of, of, of lying as cheating as well. So the entire point, honestly, of this video is to define what cheating means to you. I can't tell you if emotional cheating is actually cheating because that is up to you. If you feel like emotional cheating is cheating, then it is. And you can approach and you can try to, to work through this situation with your partner accordingly. 
But if for you, emotional cheating is not cheating, then that is also your opinion. That is also how you feel about it. So really what this is about is taking a step back, being a little bit more introspective and reflecting on your core values and what you view infidelity to actually be so you can define whether emotional cheating is cheating. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. Um, I love to hear what you have to say. So make sure you're leaving your comments down below. Maybe you've been in this situation before. Maybe you just want to express to us your own personal situation and what you've been through in regards to emotional cheating. Whatever it may be, leave your comment down below. I read as many as I possibly can and I try to respond to as many as I possibly can as well. Um, maybe you just want to know a little bit more, right? You want to know some more details. You can visit us at www.happilycommitted.com where we have a multitude of different articles and blogs and videos related to this subject and many other subjects as well. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session because you just want to know a little bit more than what we can provide for you on the website with articles and videos and blogs, and you feel like you just need to gain a perspective from somebody else, I would be more than happy to support you through that. I would be more than happy to facilitate a session for you. You can book a session with myself or any of the other amazing coaches that we have on the team via the website. Again, my name is Danny. I'm your life and relationship coach. I hope you're staying happy and healthy, and I'll see you soon.